Hello everyone and welcome back to another at home weekend vlog. Holiday is over. I'm currently going to make my pancakes. However, I feel like they're going to be like a big portion because um, I'm going to put my yoghurt in that I didn't eat last night. Well, in fact, I'll eat it tonight. Well, I do I put my yoghurt on? I don't know, but I'm due on tomorrow. So last night I literally ate shit and I'm annoyed at myself because I'm going to be back on plan but I haven't had my thing in two, two months because I skipped it for holiday which is what I usually do anyway but when I've not had it for like two months I'm like oh my god I need to eat everything. It's mainly like digestives that get me. They're so good, chocolate digestives. We're back to normal weekend vlogs now. I'm not too sure what we're doing. I expected it to be nice weather today. I might go ahead and say I'm quite thankful that it's not because I did actually buy a cute little summer outfit and it was like a leopard print skirt, a cute little um, white top. However, the skirt didn't fit. It's too small. It is in a size medium, but it is like silk material and it's just got a slit up the bum. I'll show it you in a bit when we go back upstairs. But the back of it's got a slit. But where the slit goes to, it's literally like right at the bottom of my arsehole. And it's just like, come on now. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, I've reordered it in a large because it is in the sale. It's from Bershka. And then when we was in Mexico, actually, I saw these two tops. And one was white and then the other one was black. And it was like a cute little bralette top, if you will. They're really nice. I'll show you in a bit. But I picked up the black last night, yesterday and the size large skirt so I've picked up the bralette in a large which is really annoying because I think it is going to be a bit big and only after I ordered it I realised that it doesn't actually have so it's got tie things at the front however you can't tighten them which I thought you could I probably should have checked that before ordering but I just presume so yeah it might be a bit too big but we will see so yeah, I'm just going to make my pancakes. I can't believe we've been home a week. Like, we got home a week today. This time last week, I was currently having a nap because we got home last Saturday. We landed at 20 past seven. I didn't get home until about half past nine after getting, like, luggage and everything like that. I'm going to put two eggs in this so I don't have to eat in a bit because I can't be I feel like since coming home, I've just been like, can't be asked eating. Usually when I come back from an all-inclusive, I've always been like, always really hungry. This time around, I haven't. To be honest, I do think I am always like this, actually, because I remember coming back from other places, like, especially when I was paying for my PT plan at the time, and I just couldn't wait to get home and come back on the food, because it just gets a bit much. I'm one of them people that hate being bloated, and it's like when I eat food off my plan, I get quite bloated and I don't enjoy it as much. Like, I enjoy the food and whatnot, but I just don't like the feeling of being bloated. So, yeah, put on, on holiday, half a stone. So, it worked out about 5, 6 kg. That's cool, isn't it? Not really been back in the gym properly this week. I have, but I've just, like, half asked it because I'm still quite tired. Like, it's getting to the end of the day and the tiredness is really catching up with me. It's been like minimal effort at the gym. Some days I've been more awake than others, but like last night I could not be bothered going to the gym, but I still went and I just did cardio instead rather than an actual workout workout. I did about 13, 14 minutes on the Stairmaster, but I did, um, what would you call it? Like a hit session, if you will. I did the same on the treadmill as well. So on the Stairmaster, I just put it up like faster, did a faster speed for a minute and then for a minute I got my breath back and dropped it back down. Then on the treadmill, I kind of did something similar on the treadmill. I put the incline up to six, did that for five minutes, got my heart rate up, then dropped it back down for another five minutes, got my heart rate back down and just did the same again. Two, and then I went and did abs actually, so I'm making it a promise to myself to continue doing abs in all of my workout sessions because I kind of stopped doing them for a while. Really stupid of me, I know. I should never have stopped because, to be honest with you, people say like, oh, well, you only you can only see your abs when you get abs or whatever, but I found that it helped reduce my bloating quite a lot uh, when I was doing my PT plan and stuff. 
and it also if you do it after I can't think if you do it after your actual workout session and after your cardio it does help to burn fat in that area type thing um Colin was telling me in the gym because I messaged him and was like oh how do you feel like your progress and stuff because Colin at the gym has been like helping me and stuff like that um let me move the camera then I can put the pan on in fact I'll leave it there put the that way. um he was helping me in the gym for a bit yeah Colin was helping me at the gym for a bit and like just giving me like guidance and stuff on food and just sessions in general um and he went on holiday two weeks before I did, so I actually didn't see him for about a month because he went, then I went. Um, but yeah, he was like, you need to do more abs. And I was like, I know I do, but I always skip them because I feel like I can't be bothered. I feel like I'm one of them people and I don't know why because it really pisses me off that like, because I've gained weight as well back and I don't know, I'm just like one of them people where I get embarrassed doing stuff. Like I'm the only person in the gym doing it and I can't like hide. Like, at other gyms, like gym group, I think I was at. They had like an area like behind things. So I used to just go behind there and do it or go in the women's section and do it because it was in like a, an Asian populated area. So they actually had like a women's room just for women to go in there and do the workouts. Because obviously the Asian women in the community can come in, they can take their headscarves off, um, which was really nice. However, Everlast didn't have that anymore, so they kind of lost out on that, which was a bit unfair because obviously Everlast was still in the Asian populated community. Um, so yeah, I don't know why they didn't just have a women's room in there. Anyway, even in Everlast, like I used to just go behind the thing because they had like they have like different rooms in Everlast. If you've ever been to one, you'll understand what I mean. But they've got like where they do classes and stuff in them rooms. So I used to just go in one of them when classes went on and do them then. Um, but yeah, I got really out of the habit of doing them when I've moved gyms and it's really bad because even Everlast had an ab machine, ab crunch machine and I used to go on that all the time. Um, so yeah, I think that's a big difference of where my belly fat is struggling to reduce is because I just don't do abs anymore, which is really bad of me. I should never have stopped. Um, let's hope I'll get two pancakes out of this. At, at four, sorry. Um, so yeah, I don't know what me and Louise are doing tonight. I'm unsure because obviously I ordered a nice outfit because I had in mind of like just going to spend the afternoon in Manchester. He's been at golf this morning. So I wanted to go out and like do something or like, I don't know. But it's currently raining. Like currently it's just like spitting. But still it just like dampens the mood and it like what can we do? But I haven't got any fake tan on. This is still like my tan from holiday. I thought I'd leave it. Uh, thinking that it was going to be nice weather this weekend so I could have sunbathed a bit more but never mind I got more of a tan that last weekend when I came home from Mexico than what I did in Mexico which convenient right I don't know whether to wash my hair today or just wash it tomorrow and like wear it up today I just, I just can't be bothered do you know when you're in one of the moods and you're just like I'm not in the mood but I think I will have this have a shower whether or not I wash my hair I don't know yet I'll probably wash it tomorrow maybe and I'm gonna get ready. I need to finish popping a few bits on Depop, I think. I started watching Love Island, so I keep seeing it all on TikTok. And I'm um, missing out on the gossip and everything, so I've started watching it. I'm only on episode three currently. So I'll go upstairs, eat this, watch a bit of Love Island whilst I'm eating this, and then I will either finish posting stuff on Depop or do that tomorrow, because I don't think me and Lewis will be doing anything tomorrow. I might try and get to the gym tomorrow and start my week off doing glutes or something i really want to change my workout plans um not really too sure what's changing to be honest i don't ever to ask colin and see what he recommends to do but yeah and then if you actually watched my holiday vlogs you would have seen at the end of the last one that i did about us about a lot of stuff being closed whilst we were there obviously i'd paid to go and experience everything and I'm just a bit upset because the Beach Boy is what I was looking forward to the most. It literally opened on Thursday, just gone, so it's like almost a week after we left and I'm so pissed off about it. I actually sat and had a bit of a cry on Wednesday night when I saw people putting it in the Facebook group. Um, a girl that follows me that was just there as well, she was like, oh we're leaving today at 12 and Cecil's opening at 12. I was like, you are joking me. 
I'm honestly so beyond fuming about it because I feel like I've missed out on my experience and for the price that I've paid for that holiday I should definitely not feel like that and yeah I'm just a bit gutted overall like I'm just still upset about it because <laughs> it was a lot of money to be spending on a holiday where like half the facilities aren't open it's just like the beach bar was short um the bamboo restaurant was short so that means the beach bar and the beach restaurant was short a few a few um restaurants around uh, bars sorry like beach bars around the resort was short and it's just like why am i paying all this money for half hour experience like the weather can't be helped that is what it is unfortunately but you know things to be closed and the thing is i joined a tv like complaints group to try and get an email address from the group and i found one i sent it over to lewis and whatnot because when you fill out the feedback form online it doesn't let us put the full email in so lewis's mum's done us an email um, obviously lewis is a lead passenger so lewis's mum has sat with him doing the email um to Tui because we're not happy like we feel like we've just been not like robbed of our experience but like we should have been informed because even when we arrived at the hotel they didn't tell us anything it's just like how can you not inform your guests of things being closed when you've got your staff members telling us to go and try this that and the other it's not open how can we try it um but yeah anyway the emails have been sent Louis had someone ringing yesterday but he couldn't really understand the woman on the phone because i think he had bad signal where we were working so he's just managed to get an email address off her and send the email over so we're just waiting to hear back on that whatever happens and then someone has tried emailing him from like the claims group or something like that from Tui about him being unwell on the plane trying to say oh well it wasn't our food because we've had no other complaints doesn't mean it weren't your food like if you're serving people rice with a sealable lid that you can't mix to reheat and see if there's any cold spots you're going to give people food poisoning he might be the only one to have bloody complained about it and spoke up about it you don't know but yeah it's just like you're gonna get food poisoning like sickness after two to six hours of eating that food and lo and behold it was that much after because we didn't get the in-flight food until about three hours into the flight and then obviously we started landing then we got to the hotel that was like six to maybe seven hours later and he's literally ran to the toilet as we've got to the room because he needed it that bad I've just burned my pancakes um but yeah anyway I'm gonna go and eat this I'm gonna finish doing these and then we're gonna see what we do for the day not really sure Louis should be getting back from golf soon and I need to come and get ready in case we do go out and do anything so yeah that's just our plans for the day I don't know if it's going mini golf or something but again it's gonna be cold I might I'm gonna be wearing jeans today I've just been on holiday well to be honest I can't get away from the rain it was like this on holiday weren't it lord help us yeah, we're gonna finish these before I completely burn them. So I'm ready to go out and my video has exported and whatnot and as it's exporting the sound clips jumped. So I'm having to do it all again just as I'm ready to go out, which is so annoying. I'm pissed off. YouTube is getting on my nerves at the minute we're doing stuff like this with my um do you know like when you're exporting your video and it's like finishing? It must be in the exporting thing that it's doing it because I've checked it before I've exported it. I've exported it when the music is literally right there. But I just turned it off recording. I'm having one of them days. I'm just getting hot and flustered and pissed off about anything. But this is the outfit I'm going for because I don't look right in anything. I don't know if it's just because I'm due on tomorrow, but I just feel like a fat white lump. Cause I've got no fake tan on either so I've just put these joggers on this bag because I've got my these trainers on and I just can't bother I've had enough of today already and I just don't like my makeup it's not gone right because the Kylie Jenner concealer is a pile of shit I don't know if it's because I need a beauty blender to use it but I didn't use a beauty blender I used a brush so it's just gone like, I don't know if you can it's like see it on the camera, but like, it's like crumbly and I don't understand it. It's like drying out and I can't grasp why. 
This video is only on 21%, it's gonna take ages, isn't it? I can't be bothered, man. Seriously cannot be bothered. I'm gonna to have to take it till this is with me tonight as well. So then I'm gonna to have to try and sort it out in the car because I'm trying to sort it out now and I'm gonna to have to use my hotspot to upload it as we're in the car and pray for the best whilst it's downloading now. But I've got it on charge just for the time being because I don't know who's driving and I need to quickly sort out my bag for Lewis's. Um but yeah, that's that. Fun times, right? Fun times, but yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. I fancy going out somewhere. I think we're going to Costco. I probably won't even get anything in Costco. I just can't go to sitting in the house. I did it last weekend, all weekend. And I'm already bored. Like, I need to go out and do something. I'm not sitting in this stupid house all the time. Because is anyone else like that? Like, you feel like you need to go out on a weekend and, like, not waste your weekend. Like, Lucy's all right. He's got mates. He gets to go out and do anything. I have to sit at home on my own waiting around for him. All the time. And it just frustrates me. I mean, one of them moves today. Just ignore me. Because honestly, I could probably wring someone's neck out at this point because I'm just getting that. <clears throat> I just don't understand why that video has done that. It's really annoyed me. And my eyes are watering. This room is a tip because it's got my Depop stuff in that I need to sort out. I need to shut these windows. I need to move that mirror so the sun doesn't cause a fire. Chillax, Emily, chillax. I need my powder puff. This is where I start forgetting everything and I get pissed off. I'm going to be in one of them moves today where everyone is seriously going to really frustrate me. I just know it. Right, I'm going to go and pack this bag. Pray that this video exports in a quick manner. But yeah, I just don't like being pale. And I've not bothered putting tan on because I thought I had a bit of a tan from holiday. Clearly I've not. I'm still bright white. Like, I can't bother. I've had enough. It's only 20 past two as well. So I've got another half a day left. It's on 33%. How long's that took? Like three minutes? Six minutes. I'll be 66. That's another like 10, 15 minutes now. Another 10, 15 minutes of the day wasted. Fantastic. Absolutely love my life, you know. Whatever. Anyway. I'm gonna go and sort this out before I get annoyed even more. So it's currently Sunday. Last night we actually went to Costco. I didn't film anything there. I filmed some bits for, in fact I didn't film bits, but I just recorded a few videos and took pictures of it and posted it on my Instagram story. Um, I'm annoyed at myself actually. I wish I'd done that for the vlog. Do you know when you just forget because I didn't vlog for like a week. Um, I'm currently just having a bit of a tidy up quickly and then, Oh, something's happened in Preston because there's like crashing everywhere. I don't know what me and Lucy are going to be doing to be honest with you. But I'm just going to have a quick little tidy up because I've got some clothes out that I need to pop over onto Depop. I'm going to move the camera over here. Is that better? So I've got some clothes that I want to put on Depop. Again, if you do want to follow me on Depop, I will leave it on the screen. I was going to put in the description, but I know I'll end up forgetting. Um, but I need to sort my bags out. I need to put them away properly. I also need to sell some things. This bag, I kind of want to sell. don't want to keep this anymore. I'm not using it. I haven't used it. So, I need to get rid. I'm going to keep out the bags that I want to sell, I think. And then I need to put my bags away. So, I'm just going to pop my hats in there, hats can go in that one as well as these, and then at least I know where they all are, some hats in there, so the rest of my dust bags and the bags can go in here. I didn't, I took this on holiday but I didn't actually use this, probably should have but it didn't really fit much in when I actually went to use it, this was really good on the cruise because didn't need much in it, um, so I use this a lot on the cruise and for Turkey, but I'll just pop these in here, it's 
to fill it out a bit, I think. Give it some shape again. I hate when my bags get squashed because they lose the shape. This one I want to sell. about that top didn't I yesterday and it's just this one this is a little top from Bershka with the little ties I'll show you the skirt next week because I have packaged it up to return in fact this is inside out no wonder it's not sitting right on the hanger oh my goodness I don't know what is going on here we go it's just the top from Bershka it's really cute and it's a little crop top I am planning on wearing the black one with the skirt next week if it is sunny I hope it is um, but yeah I think me and Lucy are going to dip out I'm just going to quickly get changed ready sort the rest of this stuff out and then we're going to nip out we want all of the sticks in one right so we've got all of our stuff for Austin and Angie are doing our swap and we're sorting it all out, we've got so much to really. Are we going to empty them out of the packets or just leave them? Mm, I feel like they're going to so you can see what. Yeah, true. We've got sweets, crisps, chocolate. That's sweet. Are they out, brother? They're awesome. Box. I mean, that one in work might be a bit of a then. Yeah, it should be about long, shouldn't it? I don't know how big it was, so you'll have to visit the size of the pillow. The best it's on. Foot by foot. I don't know what foot by foot is. Oh my god, we got these in Costco yesterday and they are so good. I can't stop eating them already. Oh, is that it? Is that the pillow? Is it a foot by foot? That's what you said, I'm sure, because I was like, I don't know what the foot is. Measure the pillow. 16 inch spill. Oh, it foot needs to be bigger foot. than that then. That box looked really big on the picture. It's foot, foot by foot by foot. Oh, you need it a bit bigger. I'll double check it. If anything, can we not get one like a bit longer rather than higher? Let's have a look. What? Let's have a look, won't we? Me? Wow. Yeah, covered all rounds, haven't we? Do you reckon? What do you reckon? Listen. I don't think any uh, mini eggs, but we can't get mini eggs. I don't know, I've just put my phone. Alright, so shall I read them out? Let you make a list of what we actually got. We've got everything up. We've picked it all off. The only thing is mini eggs. Um, we weren't getting celebrations. Mini eggs, cream eggs, and Percy Pigs. That's all we've got. That was not that. We've got Jammy Dodgers. Look how good this pack is. If you like the Maryland and Jammy Dodgers, that's such a good pack. They're in CMs and Home Bargains. Oh, on them as well. Yeah, got them. Yeah, I think that's fine. Got a lot of ground in it. Yeah, because we've got all the different bits in there rather than buying so many packets and then you've got all them in there so they can still try the flake we've got twill, we've got a plain them, them because that's their version of Milky Way mm. that's Milky Way yeah, I feel like that's it, isn't it? 
It's not a fucking time minute change, that. Because they've got Harry Balls as well over there, so I don't feel like we need to... Shall I Google it? I'm sure they've got Harry Ball, but I'm sure like different ones, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 The only difference is, is there's no artificial colours. No flavours, sorry. Colours are flavours in there. Yeah. I feel like that's good. And this cost us like 80 quid. Yeah, nearly. If not more. Oh, we've got to have our own kids. I don't think that's in America. That's sad, isn't it? Yeah. I've got loads there. We've got two chocolate on me though. Have we? Oh yeah. yeah the you said you wanted that though, didn't you? Yeah. You can't not have the real thing. I know she ordered one on Amazon when we found the pool. She's not sexy about it though. I don't know if she actually did. Yeah, that's good that. I want crisp wise though. Do you reckon we need any more? I still don't think they're the red pack of them Transformers. Well, I don't know where they're going to have them unless we go to a little... It's far away from what they're going to have. Should we go and have a look? Are you sure you're doing that? No, it's not going to be done. You can do that now. That's a very good backbone, that though. Yeah, we're not all. Yes, that's what we've been doing today, haven't we? Asda, home bargains. Where else have we been? That was it. Yeah, last weekend we did B and M's for these. We went to Home Bargains in Blackpool, and that was so good. It was just tidy and cleaner, and the Asda was even better as well. But maybe we'll try and get some more crisps. I feel like we've got. I feel like we've got sweets and chocolate, not a lot of crisps. Yeah, but then what crisp would they get us to try? I don't really know. I suppose. Yeah, and we need to do a letter as well. Actually, we need to put on. We need to rate everything. I think. You've got paper, aren't you? Yeah, I've got paper left. Um, I say that we need to do a letter and like rate each item. I think like chocolate, sweets, biscuit. Like, that's not a biscuit, that's chocolate to me. But it says biscuits, bread and Oh, no, I mean happy, 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 I thought you meant. What you like that? Yeah, that's not Watch a biscuit, Christmas. that's not a biscuit. It's either like we go against the whole thing then, or just do like the whole of like chocolate biscuits and then the whole of sweets. The whole of another thing, like sometimes you want biscuit over the chocolate bar, so that's quite that's a pretty good category. It does. Yeah. But then it's kind of like you think. Biscuit, chocolate, chocolate bar. That's a chocolate bar. Kind of bueno chocolate bar in it. Come on. Like just because it's on a wafer. That means that. Time out's a chocolate bar. That means that. Yeah, that would always be. A... Let me just put kind of bueno happy apples in a, in oh, a biscuit. I was just putting. I was just putting over there. That's a biscuit. Isn't it? Chocolate thing is a biscuit. That's a chocolate. What would you class Maltese? Biscuit in it. Like honeycomb. So it's honeycomb. It's not a biscuit. I'd say that's a chocolate. But then you, it's, that is on the side of like... No, because that is a biscuit. No, but then, you know, it's the same sort of No, Maltese is a chocolate, Chocolate Fingers is a biscuit, I'd say. Like a chocolate well, they biscuit. They disagree. Jaffa cakes aren't biscuits, they have cakes. <gasps> we should have got them some of them, what are they called? Angel cakes. Mm. That's the section, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's our American selection. I would show you, but I'm conscious that they might watch this. I'll still watch it. Though. Yeah. So we're not we're not going to ruin the surprise because I know what I'm talking about them now. Austin, do not Google them. <laughs> you won't know what they are. No. Lucy's bed is like full of stuff. So I'm going to take a picture of it though and post it on my story like when it's been sent, when they've got it. Because I feel like that's such a good selection. And then we're going to 
off to mine soon and I'm going to get a shower while Lewis watches football. It's England, isn't it? I like how your dad's put his England flags up. But yeah, I need to go That's and you. pack these away now and put them away. So it is currently Friday and I'm ending this vlog because I'm catching up on editing. I've not done it. And yeah, look at my tan. I'm still going. I've got no fake tan on. How cool, but I'm having a bit of a breakout um, because I've just finished my tan of the month. But I thought I'd quickly show you the skirt and the tops. So there is the skirt. I picked this up in a large and I've returned the medium so I'm just waiting for a refund for that. Then I've got this top that is a medium and it fits fine. And then we have the black one. The black one is in a large because I couldn't get it in the medium. It had sold out because it was in the sale. I wished I could have got the medium but I didn't. Hey ho, is what it is. Um, but yeah, that is everything for this weekend's vlog. I'm not too sure what videos... I want to film this weekend to be honest like I feel like I've got nothing to film at the moment and I just can't find anything that I want to film I'm really confused like I just don't know I don't know what to film um, but I might probably go to the gym this evening because it is obviously Friday and I might have a quick google what time Primark is open until and drag Lewis in and film her what's in Primark I think it might be quiet this evening because Learn Festival is on and I think people will avoid going into that area but obviously Blackpool is different it's not Lytham, it's next to Blackpool Um, but yeah I still have quite a lot of items listed over my Depop from my holiday as well as other new bits there's bags on there and stuff Um, but yeah that is everything for this weekend's vlog I hope you all enjoyed watching I am now back to normal no more holiday content Unless we do decide to book another or do a last minute trip, which I'm not sure we will. Um, we'll see. But yeah, in fact, update on the whole like holiday TUI situation. We have emailed, they've tried contacting Lewis. Lewis couldn't understand the lady on the phone due to um, his signal. And I think I spoke about this at the weekend. But then I've put in another complaint for him this week because we've had no one contact us at all since. No email or anything, so I've done the form. They've ended up contacting Lewis, in, Lewis yesterday and just kind of said they're offering us £250, which, not being funny, I've paid £3,000 each for a holiday to have 50% of the facilities that were on offer closed. Surely I should be entitled to, like, if not over a quarter refund, like one third of my holiday refunded because that's bang out of order, they didn't even tell us or anything like that, so I'm just currently arguing the toss with Tui because I think it's an absolute piss take that they can take people and just run with the money. If your facility is a resort that you're offering on your website is going to be closed, this should be stated, and I'm not being funny, the work that was going on there and like the bars that were closed, they would have been pre-agreed, if that makes sense, so information should have gone out to the travel companies, if it didn't, that's on TUI to then discuss that with the hotel, still give us our refund and get compensation from the hotel back for the company. But it is what it is, we'll see. I'm not happy to accept £250, come on. I want at least 500 each, if not more, because that is just... It's literally that criminal activity, isn't it? Like, you're falsely selling a holiday online and it's not right. How can you do that? Um, I will not ever be flying with TUI again and i have now just said to Lewis, like if we do want to go anywhere like mexico again jamaica dominican we're going to be looking at british airways hopefully they're better and um, but obviously i will not again be flying with two it's just a shame that jet two don't do long haul anymore because i think they used to back in the day um currently they don't do long haul which is really frustrating because i love jet two jet two just have the friendliest staff they're always nice to see you. Like, we've never had an issue with Jet 2 ever, like not once, not ever. Um, but yeah, Tui, no thank you. If you work for Tui, good on you. Let me know what I can do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will not be using Tui again to book another holiday. But yeah, anywho, I hope you all enjoyed watching this weekend's vlog. I hope you all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other videos you want to see from my channel in the comments below. And I will see you all again for another video. Mm -hmm.